So this is um, how you do that customization in a nutshell. Let me just put this here. So we'll go to um, settings. Developer mode. All right, so we will um, find the task. Right, so once that's done, we'll have that um, I'll have that new field here, right? Just a Boolean field. And then we go to the order, specifically the cell order line. And we create this new field called complete. It's a Boolean. It's a related field, so it's going to be task id.x complete uh, task ID X complete give me a second Oops. I know why because you have to install timesheets you're getting a first-hand view of my mistakes so that you don't make them. Um, the reason you have to install timesheets is because that's what essentially builds the bridge between the task and the cell order line, right? Because of the timesheet entries. So when you enter time on a task, it then pushes that data over to the timesheet entry, uh, or, or excuse me, the um, delivered quantity right on the cell order line. But now you'll see there'll be a relational field called um, I think it's called the task ID on the cell order line. See, we have some extra fields here now, 52, and there's task ID. And now when I do my related field, you'll see um, if I do task ID, right, I'm referencing the task associated with the order line, and then specifically the field called complete on that. And now... Uh, when I go to my, right, I'll look at my tasks, just have a test column here, call this a test task. Um, uh, I don't have Studio installed, but um, we'll just add it here, and I can just do So now we have complete right here, and now I need to go to the order line. Um, just do it here. Sorry, I can't type this morning. But, okay, so now I'll have the task complete here. Um, where is it? Hmm. It's weird. Let me make sure. It's weird, it should 100% be there. I'm not sure why it isn't. Refresh. Okay, well, we're gonna have to install Studio just to get that there. Sorry for the delay. Um, okay. Let's fix this. So what I'm going to do is obviously just drag that field onto the order line with Studio. Um, for whatever reason, I can't, I don't know why it's not working with the, um, when I just added into the XML there, but so like this. 
task complete is right here. Drop it. We'll see our Boolean there. It should be a read only, and it is. See this, I don't know why it looks ugly like this. It's really, it's a UI issue, but um, anyway, so now the last thing that we would do just to test it is we build out a service product and we specify, right, we'll do timesheet or ordered quantities, task in an existing project in the, um, right, we'll do it in what's called a test project and the test project will, um, right, we'll just create a quick done here. So now when I sell this, it creates a task. I go to the task, I edit it, I mark it complete, I save it, I go back, it's complete on here. Now it looks pretty. Um, so right, it's a related field. That's all it is. It's just looking at this field on the task and it's updating based on what you do with that field. And you could even, you know, take it a step further, right? I could uh, do what's called an automated action on the task where um, what I'll do is I'll look at the update of a record. Specifically, I'll look at the stage that the, uh, that the stage name and if it's equal to done, I want to know. And if it is equal to done, I want to update the record. Specifically, I want to update the uh, task complete value and I want to have it equal to true, which means it will be checked. And now I just need to make sure I have the project a stage equal to done here and I do. So if I, this is checked and watch what happens when I move it to done. It checks automatically. See how that works? And then when it's obviously when it checks, if I look at the sale order, it checks here automatically as well. So you have options, um, but just a simple customization to uh, you know to make that happen with some related fields. And the business use case behind this uh, for the project I worked on was they wanted to um, they wanted to invoice based off of a task's completion. So you know I'd look at all my orders to invoice, and then I would look at specifically order lines on that invoice, which had, you know, task complete equal to true. And I'd filter those out and I'd create invoices for all of the sell order lines, which, you know, which had that Boolean checked as true. So just a, an idea of, you know, what the use case was behind that. Um, if you have any additional questions, let me know. Happy to help. Thanks so much.